All right, boys and girls, we're going to continue with our chocolate chip colored pencil technique cookies. Today, you're gonna need some things that, one thing that is not in your kit, and that's a pair of scissors that are appropriate for you, which you should have by now. So I'm gonna put these aside because I don't need them right now. You're gonna need glue, which is we're gonna cut out the cookies. I'm going to put that aside right now. You're going to need a pencil sharpener for obvious reasons. Put again, put it inside, and a little work table, colored pencils, and markers, and a regular pencil. Now, we're going to make the negative space. So the cookies are the positive space and the background is the negative space. Now you can do a couple things. You could just color the whole thing and that would be fine. I would recommend doing at least two colors. So these are my cookies from last week and I did not put any chips on. We're going to do that this week. But you can see they're just cookies here. This is my scrap paper. I really don't need it for this time, but I just want to keep track of it. So here's my blank sheet of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line, a horizon line for lack of a better term. So I have these, um, this is like a ruler. You can use a piece of paper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw out a horizon line. And I thought, it would be super cute since we're, we have cookies. There's a couple things you could do. You could make, um, you could make a glass of milk, you could make a jar. But I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a glass of milk in the background. It's gonna make it a little more interesting. So to make a glass of milk, um, you're gonna you can use like I said, you could use a piece of paper. So I very easily, like let's say I have a scrap piece of paper. I could fold this scrap piece of paper and make a little impromptu um, straight edge. And you can go ahead and there's one side of my glass. Maybe I don't want the glass over there. This is where having a pencil is kind of like a big deal. Normally, you know me, I don't. Oh, you know what else would be good from your kit? This thing, which you should have in your little uh, art kit. I don't know why anybody, I mean, boys and girls, make sure your grown up has gotten you your art kit. So I'm going to make things look further away and some things look closer. And we do that by size and how they live in space. And when we're talking about space, you're not just talking about where Jupiter and the sun are, we're talking about where things are in life so but there's the two straight edges and i'm going to make a rounded bottom here and i'm doing it very lightly i know it's really hard to see someone's going to go to them it's really hard to see yeah it is i know and then i'm going to make a rounded bottom you might even want to go from here to here and mark off where that i'll show you i'll show you so you want to mark off and you do the same thing on the bottom. So you want to think about like, okay, this is straight across. Put a little mark on this line and this line, okay? So there's a mark here and a mark there. And I'm going to arc and make a rounded line and make it light until it's right. Ugh, it's my new scene. Make it light until if you're going to use a pencil for the love of things. Make it light until it's right. And look, boom. Now I have a glass of milk. Now I need to fill my milk, right? Because what's the point of having a glass of milk if it's not filled? And I'm going to put some, just like here, you could even do the line. I know it's going to sound weird, but just, just hear me out. This is how you make it. If it doesn't turn out exactly like mine, did I do it wrong? No. Fine. Okay, so this stuff in here is the milk. I'm going to take an eraser. And the way I'm going to make it look like milk 
any milk you want, almond milk. Get rid of that line. So remember, if, if it's full of milk, you can't see through the glass. However, where the glass is, you can kind of see through that. You got kind of like an edge. Okay, so now you're like, oh, what did you do? I'm going to show you how to do the milk first and the glass. I'm going to choose a color for the glass that kind of makes me think of. So I'm going to outline the whole thing. The blue. Weird, right? Because it's a clear glass and you can see the milk. Now what I'm not going to do is color anything where the milk is because the milk is white. So I'm going to see how that's going to turn out in a minute. So there's going to be kind of a line here, so I'm gonna take that. You're probably like, but then that, that doesn't make any sense. It'll make sense. Watch what I do. So now I need to color the bottom. So I want to think about, well, what's going to make my cookie stand out? Where is this? Am I going to have patterns? You could do patterns for like, I don't know, like, um, whatever, uh, a tablecloth. Some tables, some people like to put tablecloths out. So you want to think about like, a, where is this room? What's going on? What kind of stuff is going to make the wall red? So let's say there's a wall back here in my dining room. I have like a, a red, a red wall. So behind here, I'm going to color red because remember, we could see through the glass. So I'm going to make a red wall. You can make a pattern wall. I'm make a red wall. That's really like what the color of my dining room wall is. I know it sounds weird. So when I'm sitting there, I'm going to say I'm sitting out, eat her cookies. I love cookies. Ooh, it sounds good. Um, eating her cookies. There's a red wall behind me. Sounds really strange. But you can see the top of this glass. You can see through the glass because it is a clear glass. And I'm going to go ahead and color the wall in. Well, now i got to think about, well, what is down here? These cookies, maybe they're sitting on a table. Maybe there's a placemat. Now, you could have several colors for the wall. Like, remember we layered colors for... Like, if I was doing this whole thing, this is, what, this is where I go a little crazy, a little bonkers. I would use my other art sticks, but I'm not going to do it because I'm trying to demo with the uh, materials that you guys have available. Now, then, can I use my own cramp, uh, not cramps, can I use my own color pencils? Absolutely, please. If you have some nice, if you got a nice set of color pencils, and maybe you have some different colors, maybe you just like using them better. These are not bad color pencils, don't get me wrong, these prank color pencils, I'm quite happy with. We have a little bit of overlap in there. I need to go back, um, uh, anyway, if you have some really good um, colored pencils, then you want to use them. Please go for it. Uh, these are not be all end all colored pencils. And um, as long as you are using color pencils and you are doing a proper technique, I don't want to see a bunch of lines, even though this ends kind of. Go over this again. And add some other color. So I'm going to layer some stuff on here. I might actually come back and um, what other color is that? My room, it's kind of like orangey. Orangey color. Like this. Put some orange down. See, we practice this and you can add multiple layers and it kind of makes a little, gives a little depth to the color. Check that out. I mean, already it's looking better, I thought. I don't know. Be careful you don't make lines that are too harsh. I found and lost my, um, what do you call it? Sand paper again. Oh, lost it. 
I found it. I wanted to show you my sandpaper that I have. I have a little book of sandpaper that I use for um, pencils, not just colored pencils, but also lead, lead, uh, graphite. I say lead. Nobody uses lead in pencils. Um, it's, it's a graphite, to be honest. So, but you want to kind of make, sometimes you want to make a blunt, meaning not pointed, the opposite of being pointy is to be blunt for certain techniques that work. So I'm gonna add another layer of color. And I don't even mind that like there's these streaks there, it kind of adds to it. Okay, so this is the wall. Now I need to think about where are my cookies living here? So maybe I have a, um, a tablecloth going on. Like, like I was saying, maybe there's a pattern. Let's add a pattern. Patterns are really interesting. Um, elements of art. Maybe it's a blue. I don't know. Well, let's go with blue. No, I have blue going on already. Right. Um, what colors we got for a nice table? Oh, I think pink, maybe. Pink. Okay, we're going pink. Now, I still have a straight edge, or you could use your handy dandy. And you could make some lines. Now remember, don't go through the milk. The milk is white. You can't see through the milk. But perhaps I have a striped tablecloth because you know, who knows? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. So you can do a little impromptu. You could even, if you wanna make it longer, fold your, this is only scrap paper quite honestly, so it doesn't even matter if it gets folded. I use it to keep them off my, uh, nope, my uh, sketchbook clean. Put some lines there. Now I'm gonna color between the lines. So, and that's gonna make a pattern. Patterns are interesting. Now you see, because I don't color in where the milk is, it makes it stand out. So even though I drew the, the, the glass on the paper, and it wasn't that hard, let's be honest. Um, you can make a smaller cup. You can make a big glass with cookies. Uh, some people are serious about their milk and cookies. I know I am. Um, and let's face it, if you're having chocolate chip cookies, it's better than milk. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'm going to come back when I'm done with this. 